former ambassador of Great Britain, Winston Churchill, has left off his message that informs Europe's Iron Curtain and summarizes communist ambitions. The mysterious ex-writer warns the United States of how the Soviet's evil desires are to destroy our way of life that is capitalism and freedom. His solution is a tactic called containment and how the U.S. has to keep a firm stance against communism. It explains how it will not be an easy war, but if the U.S. remains strong, then their society will eventually collapse. Our government has certainly taken this knowledge and has been putting it to good use. The CIA and the NSC have been created by the National Security Act of 1947. The government is rearming our military and have agreed to be part of this new pact called NATO. Will Soviets respond to American rearmament? What are the causes and effects of NATO? All this will be answered by my co-reporter, Margaret Higgins. Soviets have attempted and succeeded to remove one of the U.S. advantages, which is the atomic bomb, by creating their very own. There is also a reason to believe that they will successfully create the hydrogen bomb as well. They have also formed the Warsaw Pact, which is similar to NATO. Americans join NATO to contain communism because it, if even the smallest of nations gets attacked and is in NATO, then the U.S. will defend them. This will raise many controversies because if Soviets decide to attack, then the U.S. and Soviets will end up in nuclear warfare. There is fear among the U.S. They scapegoat communism and is leading to the Second Red Scare. Government attempts to calm the nation by creating employee loyalty programs to remove any communist spies or traitors lingering through our nation. There also have been congressional investigations like the Army McCarthy hearings which have accused people of practicing communism. These have upset Americans even more because it increases their doubt of a secured nation and made matters worse. Go to the nearest supermarket available and get your hands on Pringles potato chips. They won't get crumbled and will remain fresh to serve at parties. They are great. Truman's administration has led the United States to intervene in Korea's civil war and has caused many problems for the United States. Right now, the United States has joined together with the United Nations and is in a stalemate with China and South Korea. This war has been blamed on Harry Truman because he is the person responsible for starting the war and exploiting some of Americans' moral because they are unable to simply take North Korea when U.S. is supposed to be the strongest of all nations. This Korean War could, only, could also involve Soviet interference and could be the breaking point to another world war. The tensions during this Cold War is a very delicate situation that involves every human being on the face of the earth. The two nations are very powerful and possess nuclear weapons that can cause annihilation of mankind if they were to go to war. The United States are trying to prevent communistic totalitarian using containment, and it appears to be working, but if, if these nations are to result to a world war, then life as we know it will cease to exist. America is well aware of this, and it is causing panic, which turns to massive tension in the nation. This is combined with America's own issues like the Civil Rights Movement, which has been a very controversial and stressful subject in the U.S. These are all benefactor situations that will determine how America views the Cold War. Yes, have NSC 68 passed immediately. Hello, Mr. President. I'm going to have to call you back. What, what do you think of the Cold War? If we do not abolish war from this earth, then surely one day war will abolish us from the earth. Containment is a convenient tactic, but don't you think the NSC 68 is taking it a bit too far? When our nation's security is altered, there should be no limit to the amount of money and time that should be taken to solve the issue. Why did you relieve General MacArthur? He was a well-respected general, but returning to the use of nuclear weapons would be much too catastrophic, as well as involving the Soviet Union in the war, which would result in nuclear warfare. Thank you, Mr. President. Have a good day.